an example of COVID-19? Yeah, what was it, sorry? So there we go. That one there, that there is a model of how a universe can create itself. It's called the Gotten Lee model and there's a whole long paper on it a and the only reason I bring it to you is called the Gotten exactly. Li model. Okay, how, how does it create itself? So this is an infinite time loop. We so the loop there yeah, well, we continues okay, okay. infinitely. Yeah, we, don't, we don't agree infinite exists though. We don't believe no, it, infinite exists though. Yeah, but, but that's By only because the knowledge that you have is, is not very yes. infinite, obviously. No, no, uh, but it's no, not no, very no, high. These no, guys no, know a bit more no, than you do. No, no, no. You don't need knowledge to... It's not a matter of having knowledge or not to prove infinite exists. There's no such thing as infinite in the real world. No, no, but, but that's to do with knowledge. Yeah, but that's your, so your, your this, claim. If this, if this is based on infinite, then the whole, I reject it in, from the beginning. Yeah, but, but what is you can't. What can't is the proof? The infinite doesn't oh, exist. Oh, 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 All right, so let me, let me read it to you. This paper explores the idea that it is the wrong question uh, that is not how the universe got here. Instead, we should explore the idea of whether there is anything in the laws of physics that would prevent the universe from creating itself. Because space-times can be curved and multiply connected, General relativity allows for the possibility of closed timeline curves, CTCs. Thus, tracing backwards in time through the origin, the original inflationary state, we may eventually encounter a region of CTCs giving no first pause. And this paper goes into no, a long explanation. Okay, so first, firstly, that's probably a new theory. Secondly, it goes by it goes by that there has to be an infinite frame, which we from the beginning don't accept. Yeah, but you can't just not accept it. No, 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 no. Show me you twenty need, years. No, no, you need to show me that infinite exists. No, we don't need to show you that. Then it doesn't exist, mate. No, no, you can't say that. No, that's, no, no. That's Do we have point. it in our real world? Does infinite exist in the real world? No, it doesn't. So you cannot come and use an which argument. Proof? One second. If I, if I said to you, show me something that comes from nothing. If you cannot do that, you cannot use that argument because it has no basis. If if I said to you, if I throw this up, what is the possibility of it landing like this? Yeah. If it doesn't, I can't use this as an example. The things that you're making is I don't, I want to know where it's coming from. I just told you they're two different things. He's talking about infinity. You're talking about probability. No, no, no. I'm saying infinity. You're, you're asking what was the probability of that landing? That, on no, no. That, that was my other uh, claim. I'm saying infinite doesn't exist in the real world. It's simple as that. So you can't use that. Well, can I show me the proof that, example in, that in, 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 show me your infinity. proof that infinity doesn't just exist in Canada. Okay. Yeah. He's going to give you infinity. The burden of proof is on you guys. Because no, you, yeah. you no, claim you, you just made the claim, claim that infinity no, doesn't no, no. exist. No, he claimed that it does, and I said it doesn't. No, 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 no,
infinite. The system that he works. Show me. How, how would you I'm like not sure why you're no, unsatisfied with the, with the example. <laughs> no, the, the, answer is the example you gave refused to answer. He said there's point A and point B. Infinite yeah. has no point A and B. Well, no, no, no. Like, he's I'm talking, talking about the, the number the size. Size. you can connect up. Yeah. The yeah. moment you give it a size, it's not infinite. No, no, no. That's not what I said. So what he's looking, what he's looking for is infinite something. The cardinality. The size of the set of the paths between these two points. That, that size is, is an well, infinity. It's, no, it's, it's actually kind of, it's, it's actually a uh, Aleph free. Yeah, but it's not. only if, how is that, how is that infinite? Because the number of different paths between the, the number of different paths. There's no such thing as infinite. If I had, let me make it simple. If I had infinite amount of bananas and I ate two bananas, how many bananas do I have? I still have infinite bananas. No, he has. I have infinite amount of bananas and I ate two bananas. But you don't believe in infinity. You still have two bananas. You still have infinite bananas. That's a contradiction, that's infinite minus two. Infinite minus two is infinite. No, that's contradiction. Yeah. Well, like mathematically, that's, that's okay, what infinite in means. In the real life, in the real life. What's it, what's it? Yeah. Real, what is real? What is yeah. real? Yeah. Come on. Within the universe. Within the universe. Yeah. If I added yeah. five more bananas, yeah. how many? It's real. You'd have infinite bananas. There you go. Sure. Really? There you go, that's how sure? yeah, Infinite doesn't sure. exist. Yeah. So what's going okay. on here? <laughs> no, no, no. Infinite. What about quarks? Infinite. Quarks, yeah. quarks. quarks are passing through your planet Earth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They are something. They are something. Can you see them? Can you feel them? No. No. But but that's real. But we have seen that's some real. evidence which that is there. All right. All right. Good. 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 So what, what reality is more than we can see or understand. It's stuff that's going on. Yeah, a little bit. We have our warm job yet. Yeah, a little bit. Tell us. Okay. All I wanted to bring with that. Yeah. And I think you missed the point a little bit. Yeah. What I wanted to bring was to show you that there are other possibilities. So when you come here, you know for sure. That's fine. Thank you. I respect that. Yeah, but but all I want we to get you to hopefully grasp is yeah. what you can't but do is come and say it's mind. impossible. Imagine. You could say to me, Rob, I'm likely I don't think it's, it's something that I accept. That's not fine. So it's but I say it's impossible. No, but uh, that's because you, with due respect, like, that's that's well, we an we ignorant statement. No, 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 it's not. Okay, if I said to you, no, something from nothing, from nothing something can come. And I'm showing you that it's possible. Here's the hypothesis. Can nothing come from something? Here's the hypothesis. Okay, so can zero equal one? That's not the same thing. That is that's that's exactly the same thing. Zero equal one is something that's mathematical. It's not even something that's physical. So is your is your main claim that because you don't see an infinite in this universe, it is impossible? No, is no, 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 not see. Not I, what I'm I mean. Seeing. Do you think because it, it, it doesn't exist in your world? No, no, no. It, it, it's, it's, it's rationally impossible to claim that something can cr come from nothing and that infinite exists within our real world because our real world is finite. So it How do you know that? Infinite. How do you know? Because that? we know that. Science told us that the Big Bang had a beginning. But, uh, that's the whole point. We don't know that. that no, 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 we do know that there's a beginning. You're claiming that there isn't. That's a claim. That's I didn't backup. say that one way or the other. I don't care whether there's a beginning or not. That's got nothing to do with that infinite. That has, that has, that has. If there is a beginning, it's finite. If it's finite, anything within this universe cannot be infinite. But, but, but it can be infinite in the future, do you agree? No. Why not? If, okay, even if you say there's a beginning and a future, it's still not. Because the fact that he had a beginning, it's not infinite. I'm not, I'm not saying... I'm, there's a difference between infinite in the past and infinite in the future. Would you agree on that? Okay, no, but are they the same thing? When we say infinite, we say no beginning, no end. No, 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 no. But yes. split them up. Yes. Well, define, what does infinite mean? Let's check. So, but but science. Let's use science. Shall we? No, let's use science. What yeah. does infinite so, mean? Here's here's the here's the model that talks about it. Here's the model that talks about. Has infinite. this model been? Firstly, it's a theory. It's a model that's not. Well, let's use hypothesis. It's a, if it's hypothesis. Yeah. Yeah. Hypothesis. 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 See, are you are you getting warm now? Are you warmed up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Kind of. It's good that Rob, you save me. You don't understand. I regret not getting my jacket. I know. Next time, come with awesome. the jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come out even, your shorts even if it's five, like 50 degrees, I'm going to get my jacket. Uh, define, define infinite. Yeah. Divine infinite. Okay. Limitless or endless in space, extent or size, impossible to measure or calculate. Yeah? So, something that is, there is no limit. We can't say, hey, beginning. The fact that you say a beginning, you're limiting infinite. Can I just say yeah? one thing to what you just said? You know how you just said the definition is you calculate it and measure it. The science, you can't do it. So, the scientific method, the scope of it is that you measure and you calculate. Yes. So, by definition, scientifically, 
Technically speaking, you cannot have an infinite. Yeah. By the very definition of infinite, you can't be measured. Can't, it cannot be measured. So either, either we're going to accept what you guys, with my with greatest respect, ignorantly claim, or we're going to look at what the smartest cosmologists claim. Well, here's what I'm saying. Let me be clear, because sometimes Ali misunderstands me, not on purpose, but sometimes I am not claiming that this is absolutely fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This may not even be probable. Yeah, yeah. The reason I'm bringing this to show people and to hopefully educate people. Yeah. That, see that? Yeah. Educate us in what? It's true. So the reason I'm bringing these is because Ali brings the claims that it's impossible for a universe to create itself and it's impossible for the universe to be infinite in either the past or the future. There's two different infinites. One is it can go infinitely backwards, one is it can go infinitely forwards. All I want to show, and here are the models, and we've got the whole thing. Wait, all I want to show is that what you can't say is it's impossible. You could say it's unlikely, you could say it's unreasonable. Any of those I'm fine with. But if you come into this park and say these things are impossible, and I'm presenting to you... I say it's impossible. Okay, but that's a, that's an argument for what, what do you present to me? Show me what you present to me. Say again? What do you present to me? I'm saying it's impossible. Which, which one should we use? Do you want the one that creates itself or the infinite one? Any. any. Let's use the infinite one. Conformal psychic cosmology is a cosmological model in the framework of general relativity advanced by theoretical physicist Roger Penrose okay. and Faye Gar Garza. In CCC, the universe iterates through infinite cycles with a future time-like infinity of each previous iteration being identified with the Big Bang sing singularity of the next. So essentially all he's saying, so it's there's a the picture. Bang, so the Big Bang singularity. It's basically what it says is, okay. it works like a Big Bang, it dissipates, creates another one, dissipates, okay. he calls yeah, them yeah, eons. It's inflation. Was it, what was it? Uh, yeah, it kind of has inflation okay, built okay. in there too. Okay, so, um, so my claim is, is that that's firstly a theory. Yeah? And and no matter how no smart, problem. no matter how smart the scientists are, if a scientist, he can be super intelligent, super brain. If he comes to me and says, for example, zero equals one, or nothing can come from something, I don't care how smart you are. Your smartness has got nothing to do with an um, impossibility. Because if that can't happen, you come in and telling me it can work in this way or that way means nothing to me. You've brought a theory that you want to presuppose or read into it just because you don't want to accept that zero equals one. It's unfair for some Somebody to come and say, hey, I'm a scientist, I'm a top scientist, and I believe if we do this and this and this, zero can actually equal one. And I'm like, okay, thanks for your attempt, but zero will never give us one. What you're saying is there's an objective reality, one plus yeah, one but, is but two. That's, yes. We all can see we, we all can't deny that. that. We can't deny okay, it. But, okay, but when yes. we look at the scientific method, it might be you might appear subjective because the very essence of you observing your with your eyes, with uh, cow, uh, with, tasting, with your eyes, your smelling, tasting, your hearing, all of these empir empirical uh, mediums that you're using, yeah. there's a lot of room for mistakes. Yeah. So when you present an example like that, you need to understand, like yeah. he said, it is a theory, A, and B, and it's done by a limited individual. Exactly, a limited individual using his own, talking about unlimited yeah, things and it's not behind the veil of ignorance he's using his own bias and he's yes. using his own agendas yes. to Push to come to a conclusion. Yeah. However, uh, uh, with your so what we what we do say is that it might be theoretically possible, but we don't take it as a fact until there is objective. Um, when and there's an objective in the realities of sense, and, and it, it will be, never be. Never be. So what we're saying is pr provide it through mathematical terms because that's objective. Until then, no, even then, even then, I know, but they will yeah, never do that. Yeah. They will never, That's what I'm saying. So provide it through objective terms, then we can yeah. even entertain that fact. But until then, we're just debating. Yeah, it's like, useless. Like, 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 like cause and effect. Yeah? Right. It's a reality. It's an objective. Reality, right. cause and effect, it happens it's right, right, around right, us. Right, right. It's something that we use. Right. For example, no. we know from you guys having a conversation with each other. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes we have to, sometimes we have to. So the thing is, so the thing is, like people are listening as well. Yeah. We're saying that we're using things yeah. that's in our realm. Yeah. But what atheists are coming with is I'm like, where are you getting this from? Like when you come with these kind of claims, I'm like, where I'm getting it from, here I'm getting it from. Okay, I know, and you're getting it, yeah, you're getting it from scientists, which I respect, they're doing their job. No, I have no problem with scientists. Like I said before, I have no problem. They do good things. They do amazing things. They explain things. They tell us how things work, but they can never tell us why they work. Do you get it? So I'm just trying to say I respect their field. However, me respecting their field doesn't mean I treat them like a prophet and say everything you say must be right because this is not fair. Should I treat you like a prophet? Awesome. No, no, no. Okay, so when you say it's impossible, yeah. that's
that claim is an extremely strong claim. No, but that's an objective reality. So that's your objective. No, it's that's not. actually your subjective reality. No, no, it's not. It's not. You tell me. You tell me otherwise that zero can equal one. Okay, you keep going back to zero equal one. I have to. One is a mathematical concept. Yes. The other is a reality. Yes. Okay. Yes. So when we when they present this model, yes. they use mathematics where zero or whatever can equal one. They wait, 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 complication. Wait. They got complicated um, Rob. equations Rob. that you and must and this gentleman myself don't understand. But Do you think that they are just making shit up? I want to ask you that question. I believe, no respect, they actually are making it up. I think when I'm making it up, they're using figures and numbers to push their agenda forward. Yeah, yeah, okay. What's what, their agenda? What, okay, their agenda is to prove that they don't, just because they want to deny God, they're thinking Is that their agenda? To yeah. deny yeah. God? Yeah. 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 Look at Where'd you get that conclusion? That's my, that's my opinion. That was no agenda. I might be wrong. Okay, I might be wrong. You might be. I might be wrong. You are very likely wrong. But as you agree, no, no, not very likely. These, these scientists are much, uh, their, their Look, expertise are much higher than, they're greater than us. So I think it's illogical for us to debate the scientific nuances because you're not a scientist, I am not, and neither is he. Let's come to a common ground that we can both speak about. I think that's the best course okay, of action. So do you, think it's, do you think it's reasonable to claim an impossibility when you don't I, have knowledge? I, I, I am not responsible for what he said. I don't agree with him saying it's impossible. I would say Thank in my you. eyes it's impossible, but from the secular point of view, it's not. From a secular point no, of no, view. Okay, either it's impossible or it's not. It's, 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 it's theoretically ways. possible, but I don't believe it's that's possible. That's all we need. No, in a philosophical now, I'm not term, talking philosophical yeah, now. In that term, you can claim anything. Yeah, I'm a lamppost, I'm a blue dragon, yeah, I'm a tree. You Nobody can deny it. Yeah. The fact that it says here, impossible to measure or calculate. Yeah, like I said to you before, by definition, but by definition, you can't use yeah. science to come to an objective reality because you're using subjective means to do so. Yeah. Are you sure? But, uh, you, yeah. Rob, I, 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 that, see, that's, that's, that's a reasonable possibility. Why, Rob, do you see where this is going to go? It's going to go where? I don't know, he says it's going to go. That's good. Yeah, we can see the clouds moving over. Yeah, so I, I think there's a high possibility. See, you see, you can see the clouds moving over. What happens if I say, no, the clouds are not moving over? Who's more right? We're both using we're both perception, right? Yeah, but we can we can measure it, can't we? Right now, can we measure it? Yes, we can measure it. No, right now, like right now. Okay, but don't worry about right now. I know, but our debate is right now, so that's why I'm saying it's too You're getting confused between practically and principally. You understand the difference? Yes, I understand What is the difference? Just to make sure I know. Practically speaking, the measurements, the 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 practicality is self-explanatory. Principle now. Principle, I'm going to go. Am I getting recorded? Yes. Okay. So, I know, I know. Welcome to Speaker's Corner. Welcome. Don't worry, I know you very well, Rob. So, what I was saying to you, practicality is right now, the practical means and measures that I'm doing. It's practical right now. The the principle is the the the, 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 the like almost as if it was the thesis behind it. The the if I say the I don't know how to explain it to you in the definition that you wanted, but I do understand. It. Okay. Also, so for example, the principle of I could say the the principle of say of. The, when when it rains, the principle of rain, I, I might become wet due to the rain, right? Practically speaking, I don't have to go out for me to, to see that happen. The principle is from previous experience that that is the case. When it rains, I will become wet. Do you... Do you so what happens if I said you know when it rains, you don't get what happens to you? Then we'd have to take the practical terms and go outside when it does rain and measure if the rain does go through my jumper. But in principle, we could do that without having to go outside, Exactly, right? yeah, yeah. It's the same thing with the clouds. You don't need to have the scientist here necessarily. I know you the clouds move. If you say the clouds are going that way, I say right, but way. that's from the. Uh, but what I'm saying to you is that's principle. However, why when what I am seeing doesn't necessarily concur to what you're seeing. If I see the cloud, clouds not parting, but you do, it's a, it's a it's a testimony. You're saying something, and I'm saying something. So by principle, we're going to differ from that, right? But then after, when it comes to practicality, then when it starts to rain, then you can conclude that indeed it did part. But you we see. can measure, can't we? So we can measure, but that's practical in terms. In principle, right. anything in the natural world, right. in principle, right. we can we can establish whether it's true or false. In principle. Uh, in principle. Understand in principle. In principle, okay, to an extent. So okay. if I said, um, I think black holes have got repulsive force, right. and you say, no, they have attractive force, in other words, they suck things in. One of those is true. Only one of them. They can't both be true. Yes? Okay. There's a, in principle, we can go and test whether that's true. So it doesn't matter what each of us said. Eventually, we could measure it. Okay, that's the point. Okay. Yeah. And, and thank you for agreeing with me in a sense. All I wanted to show with those models, not that they are probable or even, they might not even be possible. 
they're, they're not impossible, let's put it that way, because the physics seems to show they're not impossible. All I want to do is counter Ali's claim that he walks around here saying it's impossible for a universe to create itself, it's impossible for something to, to be eternal. No, no, and what, we have what, models what, what, here that show it's not it's not lo illogical. There's a difference between logic and experience Ali, well, and I, I understand intuition. what you mean, but Ali never said, what he was saying was that there can't be an infinite where you can touch, feel or conceive of in this world. That's what he was saying. When I, I but we don't know that that's true. That's the main thing. You can't say it's impossible. You could have said it's impossible way back before we knew that the universe the geometry of the universe is flat. Now that we know it's but flat, one of them you can't is true, say that. But they can't be both right. Who was more right? Th those that said when, at the time of the Earth when it was flat or now. So what I'm trying to say to you now, like at this present moment in time, is that um, it's inconceivable for you to believe that the, the world itself created itself. It's inconceivable for you to think that. Whether it happened or not is besides the point. The what do you mean the world created itself? So it, it, about the universe or the, the universe, Earth? The universe itself. The universe. When it was a singularity and expanded, it's inconceivable or illogical for you to assume or believe that it created itself. Nothing pops out of thin air. It just doesn't happen. But that's just your subjective opinion. And here we have people who are saying that it does not violate um, the laws of physics it doesn't violate general relativity or quantum mechanics but you are standing here claiming no excuse me not, all the things that they the are saying is incorrect the very people you are believing are subjective themselves so they are to an, to, to, to an essence believing in subjectivity you're taking their, their word for it not only that like I said to you beforehand it's a model it's a theory I can see the theory of anything and claim it to be true we have to we have to actually examine it experiment and see if we can come to a rational conclusion whether the, that reality is true or not until then it's, it's your word against okay, mine so, so it's just it's, it's what happens if I say to you it's impossible for God to create the universe well then I would have to say to you how do you define God okay you see then when you say he's all powerful I'm, I'll then be like to wait then why is it impossible if he's all powerful so we're using a logical rational deduction to, no, okay. to you must see my point my, it's my fault sorry I'm not being very clear no, no. Um, the, 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 again which you, you, I'm not sure that you I thought you got it originally when we spoke and now it seems like you, you, you're not quite sure Ali walks around saying it is impossible for the universe to create itself and it's impossible for the universe to be infinite either in the past or the future okay. I'm presenting you with cosmological models that say it's possible not that it's probable or even that it's likely these models in my view counter Ali and yourself with a due respect ignorant position that it is impossible that is the only claim I want you to step back from okay. and, and the more you argue here you're not arguing because what you have to say is that these models are impossible what? And my claim is that these models are possible, okay. not probable necessarily. Okay. That's so, all I'm saying. Okay, so so you can't come and stand here ignorantly, with, again with yeah, due respect, okay. and say to me that the universe can't create itself because you know what? I don't, I don't have anything in this universe that can create itself. Therefore, it's impossible no, what, in reality. What, what I'm known because what I'm doing here is that I am using a very simple mathematical model which he was using before. Zero cannot equal one. Okay, be, be very careful, please, my friend, right. with using simple mathematical models. Okay, these guys are not using simple mathematical models no, okay. because your, your models are very as limited I see, I'm, I, and they, I am, they I am not your as intuition. educated as them and I'm That's not fine. claiming any of that but what, what you are what, doing what I'm saying to you is we, if we can explain it more in, a simple, in simple terms that us laymen can understand then anything more comprehensive we have an idea of where to go by that so what I'm saying to you is if zero can never equal one Similarly speaking, if there was nothing in existence, i.e. zero, how can it then suddenly become an existence without another cause, i.e. equal one? How, how can that happen? Explain to him a universe from nothing. Which one? Now you have become... Uh, which, which, which universe? universe? Your one? Yeah. yeah. Explain okay. to him. So, my friend who doesn't want to be on camera... By the way, Ali just gave me this mic. I had no, I had no intention of speaking <laughs> about fine. this. I would just say to listen, but, but go ahead. I appreciate you are taking over from him because he got tired or he got cold or whatever yeah, yeah. the case is. Um, so there's a model that right. my friend here um, has studied. So uh, you can put me, okay? He's a nice guy. Okay. Uh, Carlos here, and he studied this. So there is a model right. that shows that a universe can come from nothing. Now it depends what you mean by nothing. Right, yeah. Okay, here's the important part. Very the important. Absence of, uh, of something. Uh, absolutely nothing. No matter. Can no I, vacuum, can I no tell you in, in physics what nothing is? Yeah, please tell me your version. Yeah, yeah what it is? No dash thing. Yes. Not nothing. No dash thing. It's absence of particles. Okay? But there is energy. So that's before a perturbation in a, 
in an energy field creates particles, a little vibration. So right okay? now we're just going through yeah. the nuances, what nothing is and what not is. No, no, but it's very important to understand. What I said to you, nothing so, is so the, ab the, the absence of anything. There is no vacuum, there is no medium. Okay, there so is my question to you in specific. And by the way, I claim no, uh, claim no scientific knowledge and I'm no not problem. representing any scientist no, out there. That's no problem. But the, the claim is made a lot here. That's true, it is. So Carla, would you agree that Carla's version of nothing is not the same as yours? I, uh, yes, yes, I would agree. You, you yes. So let, let's say in science, you don't bring the term nothing as in, in, a, as in a philosophical kind of question. Yeah, you know, in science there is a vacuum, meaning there is a point of lowest point of energy, okay, where even particles disappear and you just have a vacuum. You know, there is nothing else, okay? But what they have seen is when they create a vacuum in a box, now you tell us, Rob, what happens when you create a vacuum in a box? Yeah, so then you, what get, happens? Then you get virtual particles literally popping into existence between two plates. Is it called the... Um, the no, no, okay, effect, no, no, the okay, no, no, okay, no, no, yeah, yeah, you, you're right, a little bit, uh, let me just correct you on something, okay. the virtual particles come out of the vacuum, yes, not out of the Casimir effect, no, no, what, no, yeah, what when you say virtual, sorry, are they physical pa particles, when you say virtual, what, what, what because they come for a tenth of a tenth of a tenth of a second, you know, so they, boop, boop, they come out, but they leave an effect, okay, so it's just because they are so fast, and they basically come out of a vacuum, right. so we can't so, measure yeah. them, but we can see their effects. Think of a pebble being dropped so fast you can't see it hit the water, but you see the ripples. That we see the ripples. Exactly. So then what happens with the Casimir effect, it means even a further proof of their existence, they put two metal plates inside the vacuum, yeah? And the, the, the plates are quite close together with more space on the sides. So there are more virtual particles on the sides mm. and less in between and you'll see after a little while the two plates moving towards each other okay Be being pushed by those virtual parts so a vacuum can create light so what means that when this universe expands expands then it drips itself apart. i have no i have no yeah? problem with what you're saying but so no, like it's important before, because when you say nothing i did tell you i said no there's no vacuum but here there's a vacuum hence there's something if i say there is nothing in my hand there is literally nothing okay but we never as soon reach as you that add the point. word vacuum then there's something there is a vacuum is something, would you agree? A vacuum is something, okay, and there is, we never reach a point of nothing. Okay, 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 fantastic. So then we we can make the clear distinction that there may, something might come from a vacuum. I have no problem in, uh, in okay. entertaining that. But when there's absolutely nothing, then that's why I make the claim it's impossible. Okay, so here's my question to you. It's the on, biggest sir. question I have for every single Muslim here. Go on, sir. Why should I accept your version of that? Because using your logic or others' logic, have we ever experienced anything of the definition of nothing that you refer to in this universe? Have we ever experienced the definition of nothing the of absence, my uni of, absence of, of anything this or everything? Have we ex have we experienced this in this universe? I can't I can't claim yes or no because I don't know and I'm not like I said I'm not a scientist I can't. Okay, but, but it's a philosophical. Yeah, okay, so um, I would say no. No. Okay, so why should I or anybody here entertain your version of nothing when we have no demonstrable evidence that it ever exists? It's like the concept of an invisible dragon or a unicorn. We understand the because, concept, because but we have no reason to believe they physically exist in the real world because when we look at the definition of nothing it literally means the absence of something why when should i accept that because um, as human beings when we've equated meaning with words you've automatically changed the a fundamental word the word nothing you sci scientists so i don't want to say you as if i'm against you or whatever 100 years ago or 150 years ago nothing literally meant nothing now we're changing the word nothing to mean something do you see yes because now so we're now updating our knowledge so Correct. this is fallacious reasoning that you're no, doing no. because you should not give it because what it does it it tricks people into thinking nothing is actually nothing whereas the new definition nothing is actually something so nothing and something can't be the same um, simultaneously do you see what i'm saying okay so should we update what? our definition with the latest information or should we yes. stay or yes. should we stay with a concept okay. that is essentially non-existent updated okay. yeah no updated if that's the case yeah but let's also not confuse i mean there is a nothing in colloquial terms which we will always keep on uh, using it right. what have you done today nothing much nothing right. you know but we know if we are talking more in scientific terms then we use the word vacuum you know or nothing 
uh, meaning what before they were meaning is okay, nothing. Okay, so yeah. just because it's a scientific term, it doesn't make it a correct term because the def if you think about it logically, it it goes against logic. You're saying it's nothing, it but the definition yeah. is there is something. Listen, you, Sorry, you, so you can't use just intuitive day-to-day -day But that's logic our, our human no, no, as human beings, when we perceive yeah, no, the world, that's the very no, no. That's the very listen, medium there, there have been tens of thousands of experiments, okay. you know, to prove the vacuum, to prove virtual particles. I have no particles, problem with that, I believe in Hundreds the of thousands, I, I'm not disagreeing. So, there is nothing big uh, illogical about it. Just know from now on that as far as nature is concerned, the final uh, state of energy is vacuum, and that vacuum can create life. Simple. No problem, okay. but it's still a vacuum. It's not nothing. That's my whole argument. Yeah. No, my whole no, argument is you haven't yeah. really addressed is why should I care about your version, your your definition of nothing? I should actually toss away. Because I as human human beings, for the last for thousands and thousands of years, we've understood nothing to mean nothing. It's just been recent where now yeah, you change the definition of it to be a vacuum. So my the the burden of proof. Belong, um, it, it's on to you now. Yeah, how can you? you the, burden of proof. the burden of proof is how can you equate um, a vacuum to be nothing? Two yeah. reasons. One, yeah. he's giving you the burden. Yeah. Yeah. Number two, your concept is no longer valid. Yeah. Or you I, haven't given and, me a demonstration yeah. that I should use your concept. I yes. want to use this. And as far and as far as well as nothing, always uh, remember it means no dash thing. And that's no no you that's know, not no nothing. But so it's fine. So we have explained to you how life can start. Okay. From a vacuum, so, not from nothing. Okay, yeah. fine. Okay, fine. We, yeah, I agree with you. you but you're happy he made with the he okay. made the claim. No, no. That he we have agreed. He is nothing. happy with saying life can come from a vacuum. Can we agree I, on that? I, I, have, yeah? I, have, I have no like. So let's challenge. shake on that. Okay, no okay. problem. <laughs> but to make the claim, <laughs> it's fine. Just, yeah. the final all claim, right, to just, make it as in there's absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of semantics. We reserve that creating that type of creation to God only, where He creates from nothing, not human beings. Okay. So let's say we we have two different opinions mm. uh, religious people uh, believe that you can uh, God creates from nothing we somehow believe that uh, a vacuum can create a universe. Yeah, but you've got, you've got, so you've got measurements and evidence to show yes. that that can happen. Yeah. His version, we haven't got that. So no, why no. should I take that seriously, Father? Why should you take that seriously? The version of absolute nothing. Vacuum intelligence is thinking itself. How is vacuum creating yeah. something? And that's yeah. why, do you, why do you automatically assume that something has to be intelligent? You see, this is a mindset something that the theists have, which I suggest mm. is No, but le yeah, okay, let's... Uh, no, no, because let, what let he's trying to say is, if you look at this world, if you look at this world, well, there is design, there is, is, there is, there is, you there can is energy. see. Energy changes into shapes, it changes, matter changes Here's into energy. Point. Yes. When we're using our logic, Look, we're not using logic. Okay, no, but he's asking. He no, uh, he's what asking. Based on, okay, based on, based on logic. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but he's asking something that is normal for most people to ask. Which how can is? quantum field? How can a quantum field or how can quantum energy have the intelligence? Uh, to create an yeah, harmonious okay, you, you universe, that. okay? And this is something that I'm also quite interested in. You'll be surprised there are many physicists who are not religious, but they are very interested in philosophy yeah. and in new ideas to approach, you know, the, the, the spiritual side of life. Uh, Mark Tegmark, who is a very famous physicist, he said in ancient times in Greece, most scientists were philosophers, okay? So, but the, the problem is that we equate human concepts to something much higher than us. So we equate intelligence to, to wait a minute, we equate intelligence to being able just to make very basic logic, you know. Oh, yeah. you know what? Oh, no, sorry. sorry. Uh, Thank you very much. You're not sincere people. If Thank you. Sincere, you sincere. Yeah. So um, we are equating uh, intelligence as something quite low. Uh, low. Yes. I mean, to really understand, let's say, the intelligence of a quantum field or of a vacuum, the symmetries, the harmony. It will can take I a little bit. It, we need to go a little bit deeper than can religion. I, than I, religion. I, Point, sorry, brother. Sorry, I just want to say to you. Mm. Oh, because if you are saying we need a little bit knowledge to understand quantum physics, or the intelligence, the intelligence that, that can be contained. I think that's the same thing you are saying that I am saying that we need little bit understanding to understand God and His creation. It's the same thing. You are putting your philosophy in there, which I am putting your philosophy in there.